Hey guys, um, what you are looking at here is a lovely new notebook from Vinafax. Um, the lovely Daisy, you guys know Daisy, right? She's my green cow on YouTube. She uses one of these um, as her bullet journal. If you haven't seen that video, I would go and check it out because... Firstly, she's awesome, um, and secondly, you could get to see another perspective on this. So, why do I have one? The um, lovely PR people for Filofax got in touch and asked if um, I would like one for review. Now, had I not have seen Daisy's video, I probably would not have known about this, to be honest. Um, it's not necessarily something that I would... Um, <coughs> like I think of, I think of Filofax for, if I'm honest, I tend to kind of think of Filofax as, um, they're like ring bound planners rather than notebook. But with the increase in popularity of bullet journals, which are essentially planners, it kind of makes sense that, um, that Filofax do kind of get into that community. Um, what I would really like to see Filofax doing is Traveller's Notebooks. Could you imagine if they did Traveller's Notebooks with some of their, like, older um, leathers, like some of, like, the Finchleys and the Maldens? Could you imagine if they had had the same ochre Malden or the Crimson Malden as a Traveller's Notebook? That would, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? That would just be absolutely amazing. Um, <clears throat> but, yes, I can, I can, I can dream um, <laughs> um so yeah so they also do um notebooks and yeah as i said i wouldn't necessarily think of filofax for a notebook um so yeah i was really interested to see what it's like in um in person and as i said like daisy had one and she uses one so yeah so the one they've sent me this is the orchid and um it's not it's not leather it's leather but it does have a leather look so it is really nice and really quite um chic i don't know what other colors they do do i haven't actually had a look um but i know daisy's got like a gold one which is really quite pretty i like the feel of this it does feel really nice in your hand and i think that is really important when you're a stationary lover um i think that is a really important thing we are sort of like you know we are choosing the the paper route because we like how it feels and the kind of what it provokes in us rather than you know if we did if we just didn't really care about those sort of things we'd probably be using our phones and electronic devices um so yeah uh on the back as you can see there are some additional papers and they just slide out so um i guess if you're not storing them in your notebook you kind of need to put some put them somewhere safe and nice where um they're not gonna get dog-eared or go missing um so there's a couple of plain and some of the gridded there um let's get into this little beauty so we've got the ribbon the elastic the elastic the ribbon um so yeah we've got some card in there that's probably why i was feeling quite thick and robust so let's take the card out and it's still it's kind of got a wiggle it has got wiggle room Woo! um but yeah it's quite um still quite thick um the way the like the bind the the boards kind of bound into it you've got this kind of lip so i think depending on way like if you're shoving this in and out of your handbag um like you just need to watch that edge because like as you can see it'll kind of push push in but if you're just kind of like something just fell off my desk <laughs> um sorry i'm all croaky because of hay fever um so yeah but if you're like storing it on your desk or something then um that won't really be an issue for you i mean i don't know i don't know this one would stand up okay i don't know it's one of those things i like to give um i believe in honest and thorough reviews otherwise i would be doing you a disservice um so yeah so it's i like the fact that it's spiral bound so that as soon as you open it it does lay flat that is a massive massive win 
um, but then I also like the fact that when you close it you can sort of see the, the spiral there but it does have like this like casing over it so you kind of like your your spiral binding won't get kind of um, damaged or anything like that so we've got um, one of the rulers that you kind of page markers slash rulers that you get with like your planners this is a lot lot thinner a lot lot thinner guys um i'll see they are easy removable so that's good and obviously you know when we we're quite creative planners and so that's the sort of thing that you could easily customize you could make one yourself uh, i think that's probably what the good thing about this notebook is is that it is a notebook um, but it is very easily customizable. So it comes with um, dividers, for example, and the dividers have got like pockets, but um, you could quite easily make your own dividers, just like you could with a planner. I mean, they're pretty colors, they are pretty colors. They've got like, they are not like a card, but like that plasticky card, so you wouldn't necessarily be able to like, you could stick things on them, but you wouldn't necessarily be able to like, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like with, it has the beauty of a planner that you can remove them, so therefore you could customize them and put them where you want in your book. Um, whereas some some notebooks that I've bought in the past, they've got like the dividers in, and you know, sometimes you might only have one section that's like super thin and one section that's massive, but with, if they're like bound into the book, then that's, you know, not really very suitable so the paper that it comes with is lined um it doesn't have a it doesn't have a margin it's just plain lined it's like some of my pages have come out there which you know um so it's just plain plain lined it's really smooth actually it does feel really really it's really, really smooth and it's just it's probably like a maybe like a 100 gsm it's not it's thicker than it's thicker than copy paper but not not kind of thick like 160 or anything um so yeah the beauty is that you can take things out so that if you did want to if you did write a list or something and you wanted to chuck your list away or scruffy or whatever i really like that idea that you can just get rid of it you know you can write your shopping list on it and take it with you but then equally for as much as i love that i also dislike it in some ways because you could potentially um, like lose some of your papers. I don't know. So it is a beautiful notebook, but it has like pros and cons for me, you know. But um, yeah, it's the rings are really small, so writing would be no problem. Like even like you know, because writing on the left hand side of the page when you've got rings is sometimes quite difficult because your hand like bashes against the rings. So the rings are really small and. You can sort of like put your hand over them as well so they don't really interfere too much so that's really really good um so yeah it is a really 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 nice notebook and i guess it just sort of kind of depends i think it'd be really really good for a bullet journal particularly if you like lines on your bullet journal um for an actual journal journal probably not because of the removability and you wouldn't necessarily want your um journal pages to be removed but yeah all in all a really nice good quality notebook um and i like it i like it a lot so there we go that's the file of facts notebook there we go thanks for watching guys bye